What the heck is this? Today you're gonna find out on Toilet Talk. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindberg, and I'm an occupational therapist. I've helped so many people make the best changes to make to their bathroom to live at home for a lifetime, and today I have a U-shaped grab bar by Ponte Giulio. Let me show it to you. So this baby is one of the vinyl coated grab bars by Ponte Giulio. As you can see, it is U-shaped and it has um, this kind of sneakers on a gym floor kind of feeling when you grip onto it. I would love for you to come along with me today. We're going to go to different parts of my house and see where we could put this guy to get the most use out of it. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, everybody, here we are at stop number one. We are inside my shower. It has white tile. The grab bar is navy, so I love when I can really clearly see my grab bar in the shower. When I was looking around, I decided that this spot would probably be my first um, to place it because I also have my corner grab bar down here that's white and I have the shower head up above me and a handheld shower head to my left over here as well. I would put it right here so that I could grab onto it with my hand while putting my foot up so I could scrub my feet and balance easier that way. I'll feel more stable. I'm not going to fall. I also like if this grip didn't work for me, I could also flip the grab bar this way so I could grip on it on the top the side or on the bottom, I could flip it around the other way, do the exact same thing, or I could go ahead and flip it this way and hold on to it with both hands side to side. There's so many options on how you can install this in your shower. Let's go and see where else I could put this in my house. All right, everybody, we are in stop number two. We are in one of my bathrooms on the toilet. So I don't have any grab bars, as you can see, next to the toilet. So this would be another perfect spot. Again, I love the contrast between the navy blue on this grab bar and this kind of um, beige color that I have on the wall. So I was thinking for helping me stand up from the toilet and slowly sit down on the toilet, it would be great to put this next to the wall next to me. So when you are putting grab bars next to the wall, Something that is so important and helpful is go ahead and sit where you're going, where you need to sit, and then put your arm next to your body, bend your elbow at 90 degrees there, measure a line from the top of your forearm to the wall. And that is where you should have the top of the grab bar when you're installing it. For me, probably put the grab bar here if I wanted to hold on to the bottom of the grab bar so that I have some options, I would do it like this. So I would have my arm bent. Sorry, it's not great because I'm holding the camera and holding the grab bar, but I would have it like this and install it against the wall. Um, that way I could also, hang on to the top of the grab bar and the side, the bottom of the U. I would also install the grab bar, I'm turning it around. Um, I could also put it like this. So we have um, the bottom of the U sticking out forward a little bit so that I could grab onto that and do more of a pulling motion as opposed to a pushing down motion from the grab bar. This would be a great valid spot for this grab bar to go. Now we're gonna move on to this bathroom shower. Shower ho! All right, here we are in spot number three. This is the shower in this bathroom here. As you can see, I already have a grab bar at the shower entry. And that is so helpful. The number one place for falls at home is when you step out of the shower. So it is very important. I have this 32 inch long grab bar. 
um, by Ponte Giulio. It's um, the Prestigio Plus Scrub Bar in bright. I think it's so beautiful and gorgeous and it actually kind of blends in right next to the um, shower door frame. So I really like it. So where should I put this guy? So in here, um, I was thinking about putting it here on the wall. Here, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Um, probably somewhere like underneath of the shower, or I could also put it here to the side of the shower. Obviously, I want, I don't wanna put the grab bar too close to the shower seat there because it may get in the way of me actually sitting down in the shower. This actually almost matches the this shower seat isn't navy blue, but I would probably put the grab bar around here somewhere. Um, obviously, again, I would sit down on the shower chair and measure out where my arm would go, but I really like um, this kind of placement. It's right next to the seat. I could grab onto this in a standing position. I could put it up higher to grab hold on to, I could put it down lower. And then it also gives me those options on different places to grip. I could grip it here at the bottom, I could grip the top or the side of the grab bar. So I have lots of different options there too. I also have um, this wall over here where I could absolutely install the grab bar over here. Again, I could choose whichever angle is the most convenient. And then that way I would have a shower or a grab bar next to um, this side of the shower door that opens as well. On to the next, <laughs> moving on. All right, this is kind of an unconventional spot to put a grab bar, but I couldn't think about how um, my young daughter um, is on the steps. She's, it's a little uh, dangerous situation over here. So with these steps, they are very steep. They go upstairs. We do have a railing on one side of the wall, but for the steps down here, as you can see, there's nothing protecting anybody from falling off of the steps. And my daughter loves to play on this, these steps. She loves to put her toys here and everything. So lots of safety concerns right here. Something that can be um, very unusual but helpful is if I were to put the grab bar here on this side. So yeah, we usually don't like things sticking out from the steps, but in this case with the grab bar, it would be um, flush or almost flush against the wall going that direction. And it could be something that she could hold on to while she plays with the light switch. Yes, not a fan of her playing with the light switch, but she still does it but something to hold on to. And also actually for me and her dad to hold on to as we go up and down the stairs or reach around her toys to turn the light on and off. This may not be an option for everyone, but that's okay. These steps, um, I don't know, they're a little, they may seem deceiving, but they are pretty steep. And we've had some uh, pretty near falls and uh, quite a few accidents that could have been even worse already. So make your steps a little bit safer with the grab bar. All right. Hello, here's another unconventional space to put a uh, U-shaped grab bar like this one. Um, I have a metal shop here at my house. Um, instead of having this metal handle that's kind of rusted, you could replace it with this grab bar. Um, I like it because it gives you, you can use both hands to open and close this big heavy metal door. You could um, put your hand up here, the bottom of the U or the bottom of the grab bar. And also the great thing about the vinyl coating is that you can install it outside the home and inside the home. So this is perfect. It does really well in weather. It's very durable. It's not, the vinyl's not gonna peel off or anything like that. It will stay put. And then underneath of the vinyl is stainless steel, so it's not going to rust in the elements. Now I'm running away because the wasp was after me. <laughs> I just, I have to quickly show you the barn because the barn is cool. But yeah, here's another spot. Um, we have our big giant barn. It has a lot of doors. What's great about these doors is I could absolutely install a U-shaped grab bar on any one. If I wanted to replace it, I could absolutely do so. Um, what we have, we have plans for this barn to convert it into 
um, possibly a place for people to come and visit, maybe an Airbnb, dare I say. So we may actually use something like this and replace um, some of the hardware or any additional doors on. It would be great to have vinyl coated grab bars to put on to make the handles more accessible, soft to the touch, so people don't freeze their hands in the winter, burn them in the summer. I mean, I do live in Missouri after all, the weather gets crazy here. So um, yeah, we have those options for outdoors too. And get your creative juices flowing with this U-shaped grab bar. Okay, this is the very last place I wanted to show you where I thought I could put a U-shaped grab bar. So right now we are on my front porch. I have um, my door here. Um, now the step up, from the door to the porch is very steep. And I don't actually have any grab bars, but I um, do remember um, I had a family member come over here once. She wanted to come out on the front porch and she did find that it was uh, quite a big step down from uh, the house to the actual porch. And I felt awful because I didn't have something for her to grab onto. Luckily, I was able to have her hold my hand and everything, but I didn't have anything for her to hold onto and I felt so bad. So um, something that I can do is take, um, find a stud underneath the siding, of course, and I could put the U-shaped grab bar here. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. I was thinking I would probably put it around the height of the door handle and the um, frame, and I could put it a lot of different ways. Again, I could put it in this direction, I could put it this direction, I could even put it um, in this direction here. And that way, for people who enter the home and exit the home, it's something for them to hold on to and feel a little bit more steady when they're getting in and out of the house. It's important to note that people feel safer and more secure when they can move on their own and not have to rely on other people to help them with their balance. So that's why I like the idea of putting this grab bar right next to the door so it's easier for my family members and friends, whoever, to safely get in and out of my home. Yes, yes to safety, yes to taking care of yourself. So basically my point is this isn't just for the bathroom. It's not just for next to your toilet or in your shower. You can do so many other things with um, these grab bars. And I love that you can install them inside the house and outside the home since they are so durable as well. What do you think? Wow, this grabbar can go in a lot of places. Where do you think I should put it? Tell me in the comments below. Please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button so you can see the next time another Toilet Talk video comes out. And I want to thank you so much for watching today. You have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time.